And we are back with more Final Fantasy X-2. When we last left off, we went to Luca for a news, a news interview, did a couple online stuff, and then we went to Nihan High Road where we met Callie, who was the little girl from the call, who wanted to calm two years back. And now she wanted a chocobo, and after catching the chocobo, Callie found another chocobo, and she fell into trouble. And we now we can go rescue her. So we're now in the middle of the Meehan High Road, and let's go rescue Callie, see what's up. And I said off screen here in a little bit, I'll, um, at, probably after this video, I'll probably go back to uh, Luca in the Meehan High Road to go get the uh, matchmaking and the publicity campaign taken care of that way. You might have to go through all that. I mean, I might show it off one of these videos so you can see exactly where the people you need to talk to are at. But, uh, all the people standing on the bridge, and there's Callie knocked out up there. And it's a Chocobo Eater! Yeah, remember a Chocobo Eater? We had a fight, and we had to fight one of those in Final Fantasy X. Now we have to fight it. Uh oh. Clasco? Oh yeah, Clasco wanted to be a Chocobo herder anyway, so let Clasco deal with that. We'll try and buy you some time. Lady Yuna, please hurry. Let's go. So we're uh, Clasco. We've got two and a half minutes to get down there. So let's run all ass down there. I think if you get in a battle though, don't uh slow down your time. I think it's just a matter of time of how much time you actually have to uh, get down there on the map. I don't think uh, if you get into a battle. Although I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. So let's go. Uh, all right. Let's find out here. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. This doesn't look bad at all. Leave it to me. We got a bully cap now in uh, Oversoul. Shouldn't be too bad. Ebon powder? What the fuck is Ebon powder? Uh, darkness. Uh, even Oversoul bully caps aren't that hard. All right, so we got three eye drops from that. That's nothing to it. Let's get these uh, darkness off of Riku. And let's continue. Yeah, see, so the time doesn't count against you if you're in a battle, so that's good. Just the amount of time you are actually on the map. But let's see what we have here. We have three Phoenix Downs. We need to get, start getting some gills so we can really start paying some Awaka's dead off. I might do some of that off screen, like just grind for a little while. And try to get as much gold as I can so we can, uh. Start getting off of walk of debt. Out of here pretty soon, we're probably gonna be starting to get a lot of gold. Anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we got a chest right here. What do we have? An ether. Don't really talk to anybody because you don't have time to. Because when you do stop and talk to somebody, it does count against you. Let's continue heading down through here. This should get us right to where the Chocobo Eater is at. Yep. The Chocobos have kind of knocked out the Chocobo Eater for a little, Chocobo Eater for a little bit. And now, you guys take it from here. we got to finish the Chocobo Eater off. Clasco leaves and Callie looks like she's okay. I don't know why, but she sounds like she's uh, that voice of Callie sounds like Susie from The Rugrats. What if it's the same voice actor? But anyway, now we got the Chocobo Eater, who, like most of the other enemies in this game, is a lot easier in this game than it is in the. It's a lot easier in this game than it is in uh, Ten Two. I mean, uh, uh, Ten. Yeah, see, it's already finished. Quite easy, in fact. Don't, trust me, though, the bosses will get harder just the first couple chapters. Most of the stuff's pretty easy. I wonder if we get any guild out of that, though. Gil, not guild. Gil. 
All right. So we defeated the Chocobo Eater. Cali should be safe now. Let's see what's going on now. It's our Chocobo that we caught. And now Cali gets around the Chocobo and she looks really happy. She looks happy. Yeah, because she actually gets around the Chocobo. And of course, Riku's just kind of staring off into space. Riku's like, wait up! There's a uh, hovercraft, and our mission is complete. And we get 500 gil out of that, a wall ring, which we probably won't need, and you get the Slingar garment grid. So we're gonna sell off a few stuff and go pay off a little bit more of a walk of debt and do what we can do from there. Like I said, off screen, I'll get the, I'll get the uh, matchmaking and the uh, publicity campaign for Chapter Two and Luca and me hand high road. Because like I said, uh, I I'll show y'all eventually where they're at, so y'all can uh, figure out where y'all at. So if y'all playing along with me, you don't have to look it up. Y'all know exactly where they'll be at. So let's uh, first things first, let's head down here to the cabin. But we're not quite done on uh, me hand high road yet. We have to go back to. Uh, Um, we have to go back to go take care of one more thing. The gold store, and let's sell off that wall ring that we got. We don't need it. If there's anything that we don't need here. Anything interesting? Ah. Uh, Pay off some more of his debt. That should put him down to about 70,000. Alright. We're getting closer. Trust me, here in a pretty soon we start, we're going to start racking up a lot of gill, so it doesn't really matter. So as long as it's done before the end of Chapter 3, I think I have to be done before the end of Chapter 3. Let me double check on that real quick. Give me one second, guys. Sorry. Yeah, the end of chapter three. Anyway, so we're gonna head back to uh, Mushroom Rock Road, I me mean, uh, me and High Road, to uh, what do you have to say? But well, we're gonna fall off and keep running around the High Road like that, and uh, if only catch the chuckbugs was easy as dispatching fiends. So we're gonna go uh, back to Meehan High Road to take care of one more thing. Then we can head off to our next area. You notice uh, Chuck Bo sitting over there with Clasco and Callie. We need to go talk to them and get let them come on board. Me and the Chuck Bo are gonna see all the spirits together. That is, um, we let us ride on our airship, all aboard. Thank you so much. Cali Clasco and the Chuckbo O boarded the airship. Alrighty, so that's it for this. Much of uh, Meehan High Road is done for chapter two. So now we can head off to our next area, which is the Mushroom Rock Road. Cali the Choco Huntress. Crazy. Okay. And Cali's in the cabin. Oh, go down there in a little while. But our next area is the Mushroom Rock Road. Now I notice Calm Lands is a hot spot, but we're not going to go there yet. That's just for a mission later. The red carpet's out for the Gold Wings at the Youth League headquarters. Instant celebrities. I bet brother's happy because, you know, we gave the, the Youth League the sphere. So you know the Youth League's going to be happy with us because they know their headquarters on Mushroom Rock Road. So this is going to be evolving around the Youth League. Alright, ah, get back here, Cap. So let's see what we have up here for us. Let's head up through here, and let's see what we got. This machine was built from one of the Machina we picked up in the veil. 
But the Deep League morons can't get past the fact that it's connected to the oven. Okay. We can go that way to, uh... Head on to the store, but we're gonna go pick up a couple items. There's supposed to be a man around this hover, but whatever. Oh, this hover, I gotta assume. Get back here! Get back here! Get back here! Get back here! What do you know? Now the Goldington showed up too. I saw the block syndicate on the Jose High Road a little while ago. Yeah, so they're poking their nose around again. Head north over here to the statue of Meehan. You'll see a statue over here with the statue of Meehan. Let's head up this little uh, thingy right here. And we get a chest with high potion. And another chest over here with some much needed gill. 1500. Alright, so now we can start heading off to the uh, main part of the story. So let's head down this way and back to where the red arrow was pointing us to go. Uh, so we're about halfway done with chapter two now, maybe, give or take. So let's head this way. Hi, Goldwings. We don't know about that. Uh, I guess we're returning to Sphere. Or what? Surely this is the day that you will honor us by joining the Youth League? Uh, we don't know that. What an occasion! Oh, I have long dreamed that this day would come. Well, you're gonna have to dream a little bit longer, guys. Sir! Well, actually, that's not why we're here. Uh-oh. Don't worry. The Youth League will give the Gull Wings a grand welcome. Please proceed to headquarters immediately. Uh, you're narrow-minded. Excuse me, I have duties to attend to. Okay. So let's follow them to the headquarters. Of course, Bavel's not going to be happy with this, but we'll get to that point when we get to that point. All right, let's see. Hello, Gold Wings. The League Defense Force will escort you to the headquarters. Stick close to us. We'll dispose of the fiends. All right, let's get moving. Uh, we want to dispose some fiends because we need some gill and experience. So we're not going to worry about it too much. But remember that area down there, the den of woe? Well, we found the, the, that weird door and stuff like that. We're going to be headed out there. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Don't let's be on our way. Follow us. I want to get into some battles, though. Oh, you notice up there, though, there's an oat shoe. And that's probably one of the harder enemies so far in this game. Now we have more people. Don't worry. We're watching your back. Gotta follow them. I'm ahead down here to the dental well. Cause there is another scene down here, and there's some other stuff we can take care of. Two turbo ethers. Mmm, turbo ethers. Mm. All right, I thought there was a chest down there, but I guess I was wrong. And we get to a battle. Good. And we got three wild wolves and a uh, bully cap. Or coyote, but still. Wild wolves, coyotes, all the same thing. They're all a member of the dog family. But yeah, there's another scene down here with that mysterious door. So we're going to go down here and see what's, what's up. Bop, 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 bop. And we got another chest right here, which is a phoenix down. Okay. We really don't need them, but okay. I got an idea, though. Ether. Let's go into uh, another battle. That works. Let's do it. You get rid of the bully cap with some fire. One fire should take care of the bully cap. Or one of those, too. I meant to hit the coyote and hit the bully cap instead. That's fine. All 
Uh, so I get all slowly racking up. And, uh, okay, here we go. Let's see what we have in here. It's Nuge from the Youth League. Based of Praetor of the Youth League. Maester of the Youth League. Or, Leader of the Youth League. Huh. Is something the matter? Hello. It's you. Yeah, that's us. As you can see, this place has been sealed. Yes, it has. The portal is supposed to react to a certain kind of spear. And we have one Just of them. This one isn't enough. That's the end of that, then. No, it's not, Mimi. Oh, I know. Why don't you let the gold wings take on this mission? There you go. You'll find the other spheres? Yeah. Well... For my honor as a spear hunter. Of course, we won't do it for free. Very well. I leave it in your hands. Here, hold on to this sphere. Now we have two of the crimson spheres. Uh, Perhaps this is fate. I don't think so. Uh, do Pain and Nudes know each other? Uh, that was weird. But now we have Crimson Spear 7. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Why should you care? Because. Come on, there was something between you two, right? You, you don't get, uh, don't butt in. I'll say this once, okay? I consider you friends and I trust you. I even respect you, alright? I would think that it'd be enough. Yeah. Well, that. Yeah, but don't you ever want to know more about your friends? Not really. Not really. <laughs> well, she I sounds like Squall from Final Fantasy VIII in female form. What for? Who cares what happened in the past? There was something. Dun dun dun. Come on, Payne, you can tell us. What happened? Uh oh. You disappoint me, Nina. <laughs> I thought you were above all that. Riku, no. Not anymore. I like asking questions. You lose friends. Uh. You think so? Never mind then. Oh, and I'm just looking forward to hearing the good stuff. Confessions of a shady past. You just don't give up, Riku. You're a pain. Minus four respect points, Riku. Uh, respect oh, points. How many points left? Forty-seven. That's not a whole lot, is it? No. Uh, depends what kind of. Why don't you figure out how to get in here instead of inside my head? Uh, she'll tell you when she's damn good and ready. It might open if we find them all. There's ten of them. Oh. Uh, that's forty-six. Yeah, Riku, you guys want to shut up? Let's at least get to the headquarters. So guess what? We gotta get back. All right. So let's see what we got here. Let's head back through then a well. And let's continue all the way to the headquarters where it's supposed to be, supposed to be some kind of grand ceremony for us because we gave that sphere to the Youth League and apparently they're all set in focus of us joining the Youth League and we're really not. <sighs> That's a mouthful, but... But I guess we'll just play along for now. But yeah, those Ochus are probably the, one of the harder enemies in the, in the game up to this point. But you know what? We're going to fight them anyway. We don't technically have to, but we are anyway. Wait, don't do anything that might disturb these fiends. If you proceed with caution, you can avoid a fight. Alright, let's keep moving, but slowly. No. <laughs> no! I'm not going to go slowly. I want to fight the fiend. Leave it to me. A drowsy Ochu. Now, these are a little bit harder than. Uh, these are like some of the harder enemies so far. Now, these are quite harder. If you're, not, if you're not careful, they can they can pretty much knock knock it out, knock you uh, loopy. You gotta be very careful. But you know, they're not that hard, but they do cast a lot of status elements. But they get them taken care of. We do get a few remedies and a little bit of gill, but let's get rid of these uh, poisons and let's continue going. See, I don't really care about the safety of our well-being. We can handle these. 
Alright, we got another one right here. I'm not too worried about it. Quit hitting Riku. That's fine, though. Whatever. That was easy enough, though. No problem. That uh, power rift that we got for pain really is coming in handy. Let's get rid of these poisons off of uh, them. And let's continue on. I'm not even worried about the youth league people. Because we got a couple more coming right here. You're almost there. Don't get careless now. I'll get careless when I want to. I am the High Summoner. I saved y'all's assets from a world eternity of torment and pain. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me why it's that. So. Alright. So now we're here. Okay. Should be another chest down here, I think. Maybe there's not. You must be the gold wings. Please go on through. Welcome back. Uh, oh, there is a chest though. It's right over here. Let's see what we got. Shiny bracer. Let's see if that's anything good for uh, anybody. Generates constant protect effect. Okay. I might be okay. Let's head on up. 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 Up, 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 up. Head on up. Alright. Let's see, so we're gonna go through here. And, of course, let's see what the celebration's all about. But before we do, we're gonna save it here, guys. Lady Yuna! Uh, okay. Mm. So, is it true that once the Goldwings join the Youth League, you'll be in charge of your own division? Uh, we're not joining the yes. Unis. Yes. We're, not, uh, we're not joining the Youth League. We have a free will, or we're Don't free spirits. We are free spirits. Hello. Just as I thought. I've reprimanded Yagel for spreading such ridiculous rumors. It's highly unprofessional. Yeah. Yeah, but think how great it'd be if it were true. That's too bad. Still making the pitch? Uh, no, absolutely not. I know that words alone are not enough to sway Lady Yuna's heart. La we're but free spirits. We, just, right. we choose our own path. When the time is right, it moves up its own accord. Yep. Finding the place where one belongs is by nature a personal journey. Isn't Commander Lucille amazing? Such wisdom! <laughs> I learned it all from my troops. Excuse us, we have a strategy session to attend. Farewell. Goodbye. Come and see us again, okay? We will. But well, before we do anything, we're gonna go grab this real quick. There's a little path down here. There's a chest right here with a mithril bangle. Which is better than what she has. I'm going to put uh, the iron bangle on her. That works. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and end it here. We'll head to the save point and end it here. When we come back, we're going to finish up Mus Mushroom Rock Road and head up to the next few areas, which is uh, 
whatever. Uh, I'm take I'm taking a few things off screen here. So we're going to end it here, guys. When we come back, we're going to finish up Mushroom Rock Road. And we will take care of the rest of this. Uh, next video. So you have a good day. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. This is DKS3A, the crazy gamer, signing out. Ooh.